Beneath the calm blue sky of the Pacific, east of the Philippines, something vast is buried in silence. The maps show nothing but water. A stretch of ocean east of Luzon that fishermen cross without a second thought. But under those waves lies a scar so enormous it shocked the world when it was discovered. It was one of the Earth's most massive hidden structures, the Philippine Rise. And sitting right on top of that rise is something even more extraordinary, the Apalaki Caldera. A circular depression so wide it could fit entire countries inside it. The discovery of this caldera raised a lot of questions, most important of which is, can this giant be stirred again? What you'd see would look like another planet. The seafloor there rises like an enormous plateau, the Philippine Rise, once known as the Benham Rise. It's not a single mountain, but an entire region of frozen fire. Ancient lava flows piled kilometers thick, like the hardened skin of an undersea world that once burned. To understand the Apalaki, you have to go back nearly 50 million years to a time when the Earth was busier reshaping itself. The Pacific Ring of Fire, the horseshoe-shaped belt circling the ocean, was already alive with earthquakes and volcanoes. Tectonic plates slid and collided like slow-moving continents of stone. In what would later become the Philippine Sea, an immense pulse of magma surged upward from deep within the mantle. As the molten rock poured through cracks in the seafloor, it cooled layer by layer, building an underwater continent of basalt. Over millions of years, those layers grew into the Philippine Rise, an oceanic plateau as large as Iceland, rising several kilometers above the abyssal plain. But the Earth balances creation with collapse. Beneath the rise, pressure mounted until the magma chamber emptied faster than it could refill. The crust above lost its support and collapsed inward, forming a ring-shaped depression more than 150 kilometers across, roughly the distance from New York City to Philadelphia, or one and a half times the size of Metro Manila. That collapse became Apalaki, the tagalong word for giant. If you could stand on one rim, you wouldn't see the other side. It's wider than Yellowstone's caldera in the United States, wider even than Indonesia's toba, both of which shaped human history with their explosive eruptions. But here, Size tells a different story. On land, volcanoes explode because gases trapped in magma escape violently. Under the sea, water pressure acts like a colossal lid, keeping those gases dissolved. Instead of detonating, Apalaki's magma flowed outward in glowing rivers across the ocean floor, layering the crust in sheets of hardened rock. It was less a destroyer than a builder a slow-motion architect of the seabed. Eventually, the fires dimmed, the molten heart cooled, the chamber solidified, and Apalaki fell silent. The volcano became a fossil, sealed beneath two to three kilometers of seawater. Modern studies of rock samples from the rise date this activity to the Eocene epoch, tens of millions of years before humans walked the Earth. For most of history, it slept unseen. Then, in 2019, Filipino marine scientists and their partners mapped the Philippine rise using multi-beam sonar and seismic imaging, technologies that send sound waves deep into the ocean and read their echoes. The images revealed a perfect circle, terraces along the rim, and a central uplift, classic fingerprints of a massive caldera collapse. What they found might be the largest known caldera caldera on the planet. The discovery changed more than textbooks. It deepened the Philippines' connection to this hidden frontier. In 2012, the United Nations Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf officially recognized the Philippine rise as part of the country's extended continental shelf, giving the nation sovereign rights over its seabed resources. Apalaki wasn't just a scientific marvel. It was proof that beneath Philippine waters lay both both natural history and national heritage. The revelation also reshaped how scientists think about Earth itself. The Philippine Rise is what geologists call a large igneous province, a place where the planet once bled lava on a continental scale. 
Events like this have rewritten the planet's climate and chemistry before. The Deccan traps in India coincided with the extinction of the dinosaurs, and the Siberian traps may have triggered the greatest die-off in history. Apalaki shows that such colossal outpourings didn't just happen on land. They happened under the sea, quietly sculpting ocean basins while life evolved above. Yet, its story doesn't end in the deep past. The Philippine rise still shapes the Philippines today. Its thick volcanic crust affects how earthquakes and tsunamis travel through the region. Knowing its structure helps scientists model how energy moves beneath Luzon. Crucial knowledge for a nation sitting atop one of the most complex tectonic intersections on Earth. It also influences life itself. The ridges and slopes of Apalaki create upwellings that feed plankton blooms and attract tuna, whales, and other migratory species. Coral gardens and sponge fields grow along its edges forming an underwater refuge that sustains local fisheries. That's why the government has declared much of the Philippine rise a protected food supply exclusive zone, ensuring the ecosystems above the caldera remain intact. And then there's the technological wonder of the discovery itself. For decades, satellites and ships passed over this spot without realizing what lay below. Only with modern sonar, sending sound pulses that map every contour of the seafloor, did the caldera's massive ring appear on the screens of Filipino scientists. It was like uncovering the outline of a sleeping giant. As word spread online about the discovery of the Apalaki caldera, so did rumors. Some claimed the world's largest volcano was waking up. But geologists and the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology were clear. Apalaki is extinct. No heat flow, no magnum, no seismic unrest. Just ancient rock. Its silence is not the calm before a storm. It's the stillness of something long finished. The mystery remains. How could such an immense volcano rise, burn, collapse, and vanish without anyone knowing for millions of years? And what other giants lie sleeping beneath the waves? Their stories waiting to be found. The answer comes in the final relief. Apalaki's purpose was never to destroy, but to build. It built the seafloor that underpins the Philippines' eastern edge. It built the ecosystems that thrive today. It built data that now helps scientists predict how the Earth behaves. So when you look at a map of the Philippines, imagine this. Just beyond Luzon's eastern horizon lies an ancient scar the size of a small country, the resting place of a volcano that shaped the sea itself. It isn't a threat. It's a reminder that Earth's greatest forces don't always shout. Sometimes they whisper from the deep. And their echoes, though silent now, still hold the power to remind us how fragile and extraordinary our planet truly is. And as for that question, what if the giant stirred again? The truth is both comforting and haunting. It won't. But knowing it once did is enough to remind us that the planet we live on is never truly still. It's just between heartbeats.